Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. Here we are at my drill press. This is my drill chuck. And this is my drill chuck key. And that's what today's video is about. First thing I'm gonna show you, this is made out of steel. This is a magnetic I got off of a big old speaker that I scrapped out and I saved it. I keep it right here on the side of my drill press. And my chuck key lives right there. But that's not all we're gonna talk about today. When you put a drill bit into your chuck, you use your chuck key and you tighten it down and you put a lot of pressure on your hand and right here. Well, there's a YouTuber out there called Mr. Pete 222 and in one of his videos, he made a cover that went over the chuck key. He added some aluminum stock that went over this and made it a little bit longer, a little bit fatter and a little more softer on the palm of your hand. So I have two pieces of material. They're half inch diameter. They're about three inches long. This one is aluminum, and this is Delron, kind of plastic. I'm gonna modify these to slip over the chuck key and add a little length and give you just a little cushion. Now when you make this, you have to make sure it's not too long or too tall that it interferes with the frame of your drill press. What I'm gonna do is take these two pieces of material with a lathe. I got the plastic stock in there. First, we're gonna face it off, put a very large chamfer on there, and then file it to get a full radius. With a nice full radius on there, that'll be soft on the hand. Let's do the aluminum one. With the two radius is finished, We'll face off the opposite end, center drill and drill. Let's do the nylon first. So I don't drill too deep. I'm gonna take a little piece of tape here and mark the drill bit. That's as far as I wanna go. That will save time of going too deep. That's gonna fit on just a little tight. Let's finish the aluminum one. With them both being finished, I think I'm gonna press on the plastic one first and see how I like that. And here we are at the Arbor Press. We're gonna press this on. All pressed on, let's take it to the drill press and make sure it fits or I'm in big trouble. Well, we're back at the drill press and with the quill all the way up, the handle clears the body of the drill press. I'm happy with that. I made two of them today, one out of aluminum and one out of Delron. I'm gonna start out using the part made out of Delron and see how I like that. It's just a little bit longer, a little bit fatter here, but you'd be surprised You'd be surprised how much more comfortable this is. This is a chuck key from my lathe that I was using earlier, and I just slipped some scrap tubing over it, and that too gives you a nice cushion. 
I want to thank Mr. Pete 222. I emailed him and asked him for permission to make this video from his idea. There's a link down below to his channel. Check him out. He has over a thousand videos. He's a great teacher. Someone I look up to. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please share with your friends and subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you tomorrow.